Thanks, ladies and gentlemen, and today I am back to show you how to make a ton of coins on EAFC. So if you need millions, like myself, you're in the right place. Make sure to subscribe if you're new around here, and of course, if you want some coins in a bit of a quicker way. Well, if you guys are fed up of coming against sneaks like me and foot champs who use loans and OP cards from day one, I'm getting really sick of you! Get out now! Then you need to head over to MitchCactus.com where not only can you buy the cheapest and most reliable FIFA coins on the EA market, you'll find over 10,000 reviews from people who have used the services and enjoyed them in the past. So make sure to head over to MitchCactus.com and use code RECALL for 5% off. So we are starting off by heading over to the transfer market. Of course, we're going to have a look first of all at some bidding options for you. Now we had a subscriber message me and it actually gave me quite a good bidding filter. I've adjusted it slightly but the min price is a K, the max price is 1.5K and the minimum buy now is 3k you pop the gold the quality to gold rare and of course as you can see here you're mostly going to get things like 83s 82s you're going to get some 84s in here you want to check the likes of footbin to see the price of these cards now you're obviously going to have to skip through a few pages in order to get past the start because obviously you've got such an array of players that can come up through this filter so we want to get a little bit far in to find at least somewhere there's just no bid so let's go around here 83 gabby there 1.4 that's actually not bad if you have a look at gabby's price Gavi goes for about 1.8, so we could bid that one up at 1.5, sell it on at 1.8, and we'd be golden. So we'll bid that one there. Jorginho is probably the same. A lot of the 83s are going to go for about 1.8 now. So we can bid these. I mean, 1.6 is a little bit over what you'd want. If you can avoid it, try and do that. Uh, but 1.5 there, that's perfectly fine. We've got 1.5 there again. Let's go further along, see if we can get any 84s in here. We've got Brozovic there. Hoiberg, that's a good one. We're going to pop him on for 2,000 coins. That one will probably have to bid a little bit more on just to win it we got Ruben Neves here we'll do 1.7 we'll get Palinia there at 1.4 and as you can see we're just going to gradually bid up as many cards as we can as you get further on the pages you're more likely to be getting ones with bids that are more acceptable to top up on as you can see we've got the 1.4s here that's absolutely fine you're going to see a few 84s they're not going to be a ton uh, but there's definitely a good market for this and it's a really nice little bit of filter to start us off <laughs> Now we're going to go over to Syria. We're going to go for base hero. And we're going to go minimum 200k. So you've got the likes of Schneider. We need to see how much this guy's going for just to see if we need to price him out of the filter. So Schneider now goes for 159, which is a little bit under what we'd really want for this one here. You've got the likes of Marquisio even there at 280, which is such a solid price for him. So we want to kind of get rid of anyone who's kind of in the mid kind of ratings for the players. So we're going to go for a 140 minimum. Um, let's have a look who we've got here. Cordoba's there still. We've got Marquisio there that seems to be all right if we head over and pop this to i'd say 200k that's just going to have the likes of schneider as we can see let's knock it down slightly and then we're just going to try and get a schneider snipe now schneider's going to be the cheapest one in this filter you've also got the likes of cordoba and of course marquisio there now schneider should be going for about this price which is perfect so let's just knock it down a little bit further so we can get anything that does come up okay Brolin comes in there so it looks like his minimum or maximum is 130k so as we can see he's still there there and we pop out that one and he's absolutely gone brilliant so to snipe schneider ea tax on this is going to be 10 percent 10 percent of 160 is going to be 8,000 coins so if we go there we're making 3,000 coins something like that so if we go to sort of here we're looking at about a profit of i think what seven eight maybe 9k there so decent profit um better than obviously what you will get on the lower end of things and of course there's not a huge bracket with schneider you know you can make from I think 7, 8K here, all the way to about 20K at 131, because obviously Brolin's price kind of cuts that out and stops you being able to do too much more than that. However, it's still a really good one to give a go at, because realistically, there are a ton of other players that come up. You've got Marquisio, you've got Cordoba. There's definitely a lot to be had here. You've just got to be quick enough, um, and you've got to make sure that you do not miss any snipes that come up. Now on the lower end of heroes, base hero, midfielder, and prem, you're going to be looking at around 15 20k re realistically it's pretty much in the depths right now we're looking as you can see 19,000 coins is going to get us free there realistically if they sell on at 19k you want to pick them up at about 17 so we've got Roisiki here um you've probably got a few other cards there we've got the likes of McManon and you're going to have a few other midfielders there as well obviously the recent hero pack has absolutely dropped the value of all heroes I mean heroes themselves are just not worth anything right now because there's so many ways that you can get heroes essentially for free or very very cheap so it's just not worth paying for them so 
essentially you can get them in the mud for pricing so right now it's very easy to make a ton of coins off of them now there are a few options if you want to go over to maybe strikers where you can actually find some really good value on some really good strikers if we go minimum 200k you got tevez here at around 230 we've got keen there uh, is there anyone else it looks like they're just the only two now how much does keen actually go for right now we've got an spc for him so it's unlikely that he's going for much he's actually 200k i suppose that's because of obviously the evolution that you can pop him in we've got tevez there at 200 and well as well now the minimums for both of these are probably if we go if we go in this bracket here you've got one keen there let's see when other players come in because that's what we obviously got to max out these other players who else can actually appear here doesn't look like many um 200k on this one obviously realistically if we compare price our way to a snipe we're looking realistically for this one ea tax is gonna be about 10k so actually if we can get one for maybe 190 that's a pretty big dub 180 would be even better obviously compare price is the way to go if you get a tevez you're absolutely laughing once again he is obviously going to be one who's going to make you an absolute ton and interestingly enough we can go and snipe the likes of of course yaya Torre, ramirez now as well because those guys are literally dirt price compared to what they used to be i mean Torre and ramirez both have oh 194 that's a little bit off what we want right now to be honest but that went pretty quickly what we'll do is we'll snipe at 191 we'll hope one comes up i mean you can see they are coming up it's just not for the price that we want now that one was pretty close to where we'd be happy to take it but we don't want pretty bang on the mark so we've come pray wait for that one to come around and we'll be absolutely laughing now another one you can do right now in terms of obviously heroes we did speak about it you've got cdm premier league base hero ramirez and Torre. i mean i can't believe the price they are right now it's pretty insane compared to what you would have just expected throughout the whole of fifa this year because realistically these guys are the goats of heroes like these are the two best heroes you can get you've got obviously the likes of company and things like that but they're you know these are the best in the prem and um, you're looking at about 590 for a sell-on on ramirez right now ea tax on that is going to be about 30k so you want to bring this down to here then obviously the profit you probably want to go to 540 that's a 20k profit on the card obviously EA tax is 30k so you want to be making at least close to what EA tax is now I apologize I'm just noted my camera is pretty blurry I apologize if it's looked that way the entire video please don't judge me for it unfortunately uh, the blurry camera is, is something I apparently cannot resolve um, so we've obviously got this filter here for you guys who are on a higher end if you can do this on a bot I mean you'll be absolutely there you go you'll be absolutely laughing so it's definitely worth having a look at and the final filter we're going to have a look at right now i think it's probably the best one is special you want to go french you want to go league one I feel like you guys will know where this is going psg now you've got a few guys here obviously we're going to ignore I mean, Kobe Bryant is actually not even a bad one right now, to be honest. We're going to ignore the likes of Mbappe. He's just not going to be coming up on this filter. We're just going to check if there's anyone under 100k that isn't. Is there anyone under 200k that isn't? Is there anyone under 300k that is? So Dembele is the cheapest, which is actually kind of shocking. Dembele should not be the cheapest out of these guys. But Dembele being the cheapest, we've got the likes of, of course, Kempembe. We've got the likes of Kobe Bryant. We have a lot of cards that will all link to, of course, the absolute GOAT Mbappe player of the month, who I will be getting. I'm going to have a look at that Kolo Moani. I feel like he's probably an interesting one to go for. So at 240k, EA tax, it'd be 240 10% uh, is 24. So EA tax is 12k on this card. So realistically, you actually can pick this up for, I'd say, 220. And that's looking at about a 10k profit. You could probably push this a little bit higher if you've got maybe a hunter in your club that's untradeable, something like that, to just push that card up. I think it'd be very easy to get this card on a snipe. Obviously, I'm not going to spend the time that it would probably take because, of course, this is a more desirable card. Right now, it would probably take me like 15, 20 minutes to get a big snipe on it. But in that 15, 20 minutes to snipe it, you get one card with maybe like 20, 30k profit that's better than doing most sniping methods or investments. So it makes sense. Obviously all these filters are a little bit higher budget. If you do want lower budget, come back here tomorrow and I'll sort you out guys. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. See you guys tomorrow.